A very warm welcome to Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung East African Regional Office. My name is Dorothy Braun. I'm the regional representative and with me is Sabato Niam Sender. And we have invited him here today to talk about Rosa Luxemburg in Tanzania. Sabato is an assistant lecturer at the University of Dar es Salaam in the Department for Political Science and um, Public Administration. And he is also the founder of Tanzania Socialist Forum. The regional office has been established in 2012, but Rosa Luxemburg has made her way to Tanzania much earlier than this. And this is maybe not so surprising because during the struggle of, to independence and after independence, Tanzania embarked on a path of developing socialist society and economy, which is called Udyama. Rosa had two major influences in Tanzania. Uh, one was theoretical, especially her theory of, of primitive accumulation and the critique of imperialism, that uh, capitalism in highly developed countries is not self-sufficient. Self it survives by plundering the resources of third world countries. So uh, that made her a hero in third world countries and most people actually uh, went ahead that uh, the true liberation of third world countries would come up through the linking from uh, the global imperialist system. The second was her devotion and commitment to the struggle. So she was this kind of socialist that uh, every socialist revolutionary admired because she had taken full identity with a socialist cause and she lost her life in the struggle, uh, fighting for the liberation of the working class. So both these influences endeared her to the Tanzanian socialists, much as they were divided, but Rosa Rosenberg united them. Most of the socialists of my generation were born in, during the neoliberal era. That was the period when Nyerere was already out of power and Tanzania had transited from state-centered socialism to corporate-centered neoliberalism. And, and therefore we didn't know anything about socialism. We just heard it and read it through books. Uh, even when we joined uh, schools and universities, the syllabus had been changed to remove all the socialist and radical content out of the syllabus. And we were fed with a free market thoughts and, and, and mantras. In 2008, at the University of Dar es Salaam, the Molim Julius Nyerere Professorial Chair in Pan-African Studies was established and its incumbent was Professor Issa Shivj, a Marxist scholar of the, the 60s and 70s of the Dar es Salaam campus-based Marxism. In 2009, Professor Shivj publishes a book, Accumulation in an African Periphery, a Theoretical Framework. And it's through his writings, especially this book that I have mentioned, that we come across the name of Rosa Rosenberg. So we pick up interest uh, and we start searching for books and materials written by her, including her, her biography. So when we came to establish the Tanzania Socialist Forum in 2016, Rosa Rosenberg was among our guiding stars. One, it's because first we learned that she was uncompromisingly socialist. She fought against a revisionism in her own party, the SDP, and she, she was among those who took 
a radical stance pro-workers and therefore she even when the party clinged to its um, moderate and revisionist positions on various matters she was among those who broke away from the SDP and went to establish the German Communist Party. During this time there were also revisionist trends in Tanzania. Some who say we need to make revisions on the Arusha declaration for it to suit the current conditions. But the revisions they were referring to were basically watering down all the radical and socialist content of the declaration and replace it with neoliberal principles. So we chose the radical path saying we are a Marxist forum and we are not going to compromise on socialist principles. We started forging organic links with various sectors of the working people. They hadn't read any big books. They learned it through their own experience. Their resolution that our true liberation will come the day when we are the owners of the buses through a bus cooperative. So that socialist consciousness developing out of day-to-day -day experiences of struggles, that is something that we learned from the working people. But our theoretical guidance that we can actually get this type of knowledge from the working people came from the writings of Rosa Rosenberg.